Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm setting off from Cambridge via Harwich to the Netherlands and onwards to the West Frisian island of Tessel. I can't remember the last time I actually drove onto this ship heading for the Netherlands. Over the past few years I've made regular trips back and forth with my bicycle but I can't remember taking a van. It was a little strange being ushered into this lane, lane number one. I could see that the uh, deck above was 2.7 metres and that gave me two centimetres clearance above the truck. They seemed quite happy with it and uh, the only thing that hit the ceiling was the very small aerial. The following morning, after I cleared customs, I made a quick stop in Hook Van Holland just to check the truck before setting off and driving the main motorway to Amsterdam. I drove along the single lane road all the way to Den Helder. The whole journey took about two hours at 80 kilometers an hour before I caught my first sight of the island of Tessel. I've just had a look at the ferry website and it says that you can't buy the tickets in cash in the kiosk there, so they advise you to buy them online. So I've just been onto the um, website and I've ordered the ticket. And for this van, which is seven meters long, it was 54 euros for the return trip. Um, so let's see how we get on with that. So that seemed to go really well. Uh, I just turned up at the correct booth, uh, showed her the e-ticket 
and they opened the gates and told me to come and park here. So um, that was that. Yeah, that was all right. Buying that e-ticket just online a few moments ago. Looks like the next ferry is at two, and it is twenty to two. So hopefully, I'll be uh, loading quite soon.
arrived here at uh, the Vrijvogel here on Tessel. Uh, this is where I'm going to be camping now for four nights. I've decided to stay for four nights because the place I was supposed to be staying on my fourth night is actually not available. So I'm going to stay here. Uh, it looks like a really nice place and a really nice island. One of the main reasons for coming here is the cycling so I've just got the bike off the back of the truck and I'm just about to go out for a, a quick cycle around probably a couple of hours 50 60 K I should think around the north part of the island just to get my bearings really so uh, let's go and have a look at that and uh, I think I'll leave this GoPro here um, and use my iPhone for, for some other little bits of video so I'm just gonna get the bike So I've just stopped here. This is uh, one of the points on this um, bike network, point to point, numbers, numbered cycling. Um, this one is uh, on my way back to where I've parked the van. I've uh, probably done about 40k. This last 25 or so has been directly into the wind, which has been, yeah, a little bit, a little bit challenging, but it's all right, really. Uh, so these are quite common all over Holland, these um, these things behind me, these point to point cycling things, very good. Uh, it shows you the way and as you can see that little cycle route that goes just around here, uh, it's uh, typically all off road. And here comes a couple of people now. Good morning. I had a really good night's sleep in this place last night. It was entirely dark and totally silent. There wasn't a sound at all. Uh, no lights, no light pollution, nothing. It was just completely completely dark outside couldn't see a thing this morning i'm going to take a ride around the south part of the island around to where the uh, the dunes begin and up to a small town on the seaward side i'm going to take uh, my drone with me see if i can get some drone drone shots of the uh, dunes um, but it is quite windy today i'm just looking up at the trees it's uh, it's a it's more windy than it was yesterday so the drone may struggle in that so i'm going to set off now and see how i go Behind me is the uh, small harbour next to the campsite, probably, well, probably about two kilometres from the campsite. Uh, it's a really lovely little place. There's loads of little boats here which you can take uh, boat trips out onto the Wadden Sea. And uh, behind me you can see some of the fishing boats where uh, you can buy some fresh fish if you want to. It's uh, quite a nice little place, lots of people around, quite busy, some places to eat, places to drink. I'll put the name on the, uh, on the screen somewhere. So. Uh, you don't have to put up with me and my embarrassing pronunciation of Dutch words. I've come back to the ferry terminal because the ferry terminal is where point number one on the Tessel cycling map is. It's just over there. So I'm going to have a look at that in a moment. And that's going to take me uh, around behind me, behind the ship and onto the dunes over there. So uh, I'm going to look, see where I can find out where that starts. and. Um, make my way around to the little town which is over there on the seaward side of the island. Behind me, right in the distance, is Den Helder and that's where the ferry goes to and from. I think there are two ships and they just go back and forth all day. I think there is a last time, it looks like the summer last, last crossing is about nine o'clock but I don't know this time of year, it's uh, end of October so probably as it gets dark I should think it stops, uh, stops going. So this is point number one, the boards here with the map. I've got to go one, six, eight, nine, ten, five, in order to get to the, uh, the place where I'm going to try and uh, arrive at for my lunch. So let's see how that goes. Um, there's quite a lot of people cycling today. It's quite a nice day and the ship's just arrived for another crossing and probably about 40 bicycles have uh, just come off that. So I'll follow some of those. this part of the island the 
cycle route goes through this little forested area, which is quite nice. The ground is uh, not really uh, a cycle path, but it's nice and firm, with no ruts or anything like that. That's where everybody seems to be going, so that's the way I'm going. So I'm just gonna go head that way onto this little town where I'm gonna have my lunch. Okay, so I've just ridden back from the beach where you saw me last, where I showed you that beach view. Uh, it was a really nice place to have some lunch, uh, but the wind today has been pretty, pretty strong. And uh, next couple of days, there's uh, forecast rain on and off. So I thought I'd come straight back to the van, get the Solex off and go for a ride on that. So I'm gonna try and just ride around this little area of the island on the Solex, see how I get on. I don't really wanna go too far, just in case I end up having to push it back. Well, this thing seems to be going along really quite well. I get up to about 25 kilometers an hour, which I think is a speed limit for one of these mopeds. So I'm gonna have a little uh, ride around this area and see what I can find. Great stuff. Seems to be going okay at the moment. 25 kilometers an hour most of the time, which is quite good. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, quite nice to ride along on. Doesn't feel too bizarre, actually. It's quite nice. Well, that was a really successful trip. The Solex went really, really well. Just riding around this part, this sort of half of the island, um, about 30 kilometers, quite nice. Um, just on the cycle paths and the, um, the top of the dike, the dike path along the top um, by, the, by the sea, by the Wadden Sea. So I'm gonna put the Solex away today. I think it might be a bit rainy tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'll ever go on it tomorrow but um, I'm just going to cover it up outside, lock it up outside and uh, leave it there. So that's it for today. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee now. Such a lovely afternoon today. I decided to come back and pick up the Solex and uh, go for a ride around this part of the island on the Solex. Um, I'm going to head sort of north, I think, because the wind's blowing from the south. Uh, see how far I can go and then try and come back along the, the sea wall so I can look at the bottom sea. I've got the GoPro loaded up on the handlebars so I'm going to film uh, the little journey, see how, I, uh, see how I go with that and see see if it makes, uh, makes for a good little video. So um, yeah, let's go. I've just checked the fill tank and it's just over half full, I think, but I'm taking this bottle of um, Aspen 2 with me, which I bought um, in Cambridge. I'm taking that with me just in case I run out. This is a sealed bottle. They're quite handy, really, because the, the bottles are sealed and you only, you only have to open them when you need them. And uh, this is almost a tank full, so that'll be quite useful. So let's see how we go.
found this little stall that's selling jam, three euros fifty for some homemade jam. So I'm just going to buy some um, because I quite like this uh, flavour.
I hope you enjoyed that little Solex trip around the island and I really hope that you could see how windy it was as I was uh, coming along the uh, sea wall there very very windy and uh, I'm gonna put this video in just a little bit a uh, bit more again uh, slightly out of context but um, have a look at this guy who came past on the Solex that was going really really fast and then immediately it blew up and he turned around there was a bit of a pop a puff of smoke and uh, that was it, so I was uh, quite pleased to go past him at that point. A really big thunderstorm here last night kept banging away for hours and hours and hours and then the uh, the farm guys got up around five o'clock and started uh, clearing out the, the cattle so that was a, a very disturbed evening and night but still very good uh, today I'm gonna go for a ride probably all the way around the island again I'm gonna go up to the lighthouse and see if I can get the drone out it is looking a bit breezy today so I don't know if that will work I came to this place yesterday on my Solex and it took me about 20 minutes to get here. I was coming on my bike and it's taken me about 10, so clearly I've got much more power than the, uh, the Solex, but the Solex is good fun anyway. Uh, there's quite quaint little streets, quite nice little places to walk around. And there's a cafe just behind me. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. I've just had some coffee and I need to, need to get on because I'm planning to go all the way around the island. So yeah, nice little place. I'll put the name on the screen. And uh, if you're ever here, come and have a look. Come and use this cafe. Behind me is the Wadden Sea and I'm going to ride along the sea wall, dike wall that way. There's a cycle path to the next uh, numbered cycle point. Uh, it takes me around towards the north of the island. So I'm just going to follow that and uh, have a look at the sea as I uh, ride along. It's quite nice here today, a little bit of wind but not a lot. Um, sun's trying to come out again now, it was out earlier. Uh, it's not too cold so it should be a good day cycling around the island. This is as far as we can go on the dike cycle path. I've got to head back uh, and down a little ramp and then around on the road, I should think. I think I've been that way before. Uh, this is uh, some sort of bird nature reserve where there are obviously these uh, baby things going on. Um, and over my shoulder in the distance, in the in a very far distance, I think that's the island of Tashelling. So um, I think you just make out that there's a, there's a hill on it, perhaps not. I'll see if I can get some shots with the drone shortly. This is definitely the best spot to view the uh, lighthouse from today. Over there on the path up to it, it's just so windy. I made it to the lighthouse but it's so windy here that there's absolutely no chance that I can fly my little drone it just get blown away there's a load of people over there on the beach flying kites and kite surfing so my drone is far 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 too small for this
I've left the dunes now from the seaward side of the island and I've just come down this way. This, um, this track runs through the forest and it's on a very different sorts of terrain really. This is on a bit of a old tarmac but back up there it was basically on dust and pine needles which is a little bit, uh, a little bit strange because most of the track is pretty well made but that was a, obviously a forest track. So I'm heading this way now down to the southernmost tip of the island and a small village there. I just made it just about as far south um, southeast on the uh, island as I can get and I've come across this military base. Now I'm not sure what that says so I think I'm just going to turn around and go back the other way towards uh, the village of Denhorn. So um, let's see what happens there. It's raining a bit, uh, the wind is just as strong um, but it's very nice. This south part of the island has got much more of the wind actually. Um, it's coming straight across the sea, which is just the other side of the dunes over there. So yeah, it's quite blowy down here. So over there, over that side, in, over in the, in the sea, you can see the guys from the military base at the end of this road. They're just playing speedboats, just driving their speedboats around in the sea. Looks quite good fun, really. And just over to the left of those uh, is the um, terminal where the ship from Den Helder uh, arrives. I've just come across this little place while I'm riding along and I was quite interested in these piles of wood, these like teepees of wood, probably all different sorts of wood in each one and uh, various other piles of things, building materials lying around, quite interesting really. Well, I've made it all the way back to this little place. Uh, I'll put the name of, on the screen here. Uh, this is where I started out this morning. I've managed to follow all of what I think are the cycle tracks that go closest to the sea all the way around the island. And I've made that just short of 75 kilometers. I'm sure someone's gonna correct me on that. 74, 76, 25, whatever. But that's what I made it and that's what my GPS made it. So that's what I'll say, 75 kilometers all the way around the island on the closest cycle tracks to the sea. So I finally made it back to the van. That was a really nice ride out today around the island, lots of different scenery. And I hope you liked all the little video clips that I've, uh, I've made of my time on the island. I'm gonna load the Solex and the bike up now because I'm leaving here tomorrow. Uh, it's been really nice to be somewhere very different. I've never been here before, but uh, I think I'd quite like to come back. This time of year has been really good as well. Uh, autumn seems to be fine, a little bit of rain, but the weather's fine and I've got shorts on still. And it's the uh, 26th of October today. So yeah, can't complain about that. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.